Wondering about the types of things that get men more invested and chase a particular woman? Want to know the psychological steps you can take to draw men closer to you without playing games or sacrificing your integrity? I have six steps in how to make any man chase you coming up right now. Hey guys, I'm dating and relationship coach Ryan Patrick. So today, we're talking about those sticky qualities you can possess for him to bind to you like glue. If you're looking for those magic bullet lines or games, this isn't gonna be the video for you. I'm only covering the things that speak directly to a man's psychology, so you can win him over by simply accentuating the essence of who you are. But first, I've got some very exciting news to share with you guys. Now, we are just one week away from enrollment opening on my brand new video course, The Boyfriend Blueprint. If you guys are excited as I am for this course to finally release, just sound off in the comments and say, I am ready for the course, Ryan. For those of you who have been asking about the course or saw my video from last week, I have just released this morning the full course details. And with this course, there's an opportunity to work directly with me. Now, I'm going to have 25 spots available. So if you want to work with me, make sure you reserve your spot first because they will go fast. So before we get into these six steps, and how to make any man chase you, here's what I want you to do real quick. Open up a new tab on your internet browser and go to boyfriendblueprint.com slash join right now. I added a brand new video this morning that's just a few minutes long. So please watch that video, check out the full course details, click join the wait list and sign up for my exclusive list so you can be notified when the course launches and you can receive your promo code. Then come right back here so we can get psychological about men and the Chase. Go on. Thank you so much, guys. The wait is almost over. All right, here are the six steps you can take to get him to chase you. The first step is be the high value woman. Let me be crystal clear about what this is. This is your perception of yourself first and foremost. He'll see only what you see in yourself. Now, the high value woman isn't sitting around concocting ways to make guys chase her. Quite the opposite, in fact. She's invested in her own satisfaction and fulfillment that doesn't require a man's help. That means her schedule is usually full of things she likes to do, whether it be advancing her career, pursuing a passion, or helping someone in some way. Now notice how none of those three things require a man's assistance in any way. Don't get me wrong, men are great. Really? We're pretty great. But the mindset has to be that we can help you enhance what you already have rather than us be the solution to what you don't have. The second step is make men less of a priority. This one piggybacks off the last step, which may sound easier said than done for those of you who might be fed up with men in dating right now. So let's discuss real quick the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Now chances are, if you find yourself getting the same result over and over right now, we have to inject a pattern interrupt and take a little break for a little while. Take that time to really invest and focus on yourself. And honestly, those could be the best moments to invest in a personal development program. And in fact, it might be the best time for you to invest in the boyfriend blueprint. We're nailing down personal development in the first third of this program. If men are just dominating your thoughts and you would like to control more outcomes with them, get on over to boyfriendblueprint.com slash join right now. The third step is solidify your boundaries. Have you ever found yourself negotiating with yourself when a guy does something that you don't like and you say to yourself, okay, just this one time. That's the sign of a weak boundary you need to shore up and strengthen immediately. Guys are going to test you. They're going to try and see if they can get away with things that you don't like at all. But when men test you and they see you pushing back on those silly little generic names they call you or showing up 45 minutes late for a date, they perk up. Men want relationships with people that respect themselves and know what they want. So never give them only what you think they want. If you don't like him being sexual in the text he's sending you, be polite and text him back. You know, I think we missed a couple steps before we got to this point. The fourth step is penalize wishy-washy behavior. 
If you take nothing else away from this video and you could only choose one thing, let it be this. If you allow a man to get away with wishy-washy behavior or hot and cold behavior, you will suffer immensely in your pursuit for love. Now, wishy-washy behavior is very similar to men just careening through your boundaries that you don't want them to cross. With one major point of difference, testing your boundaries actually require him to do something. It requires his effort on some level. Wishy-washy behavior means he's checking out on you and not putting forth the effort at all times. So don't put up with it. Punish or penalize the behavior. How? By you willing to be able to take a step back from him and invest less in him, or just say next. And if you don't put up with that short end crap he's dishing you, don't be surprised if he starts pursuing you harder after that. The fifth step is slow roll sex. Now I talk about this one a lot on my channel. Any woman can give a man sex, so there's never any reason to rush to give it to him. What men find rare and actively chase down is a woman that can give him intimacy. Intimacy is that delicious thing he craves. And by you simply valuing and controlling your physical urges with him, it'll make it that much more likely that you understand how to provide that intimacy that he's seeking. Now I'm not suggesting that he even knows what intimacy is or that he's going through this process consciously even. To him, you might just be someone that's making him wait. But this lever is one of the easiest and most natural for you to pull to get him to just be thinking about you nonstop. So definitely just wait on sex. How long? Minimum 30 days from the time that you guys actually start going out on dates. And 30 days is a minimum. So if you can, just keep away from those situations where you two can get carried away. The sixth step is have a private score system. Now this one's my favorite, so I saved it for last. I want you to give every guy you date a little scorecard in your brain while you interact with him. Not only is this fun to do, but it's gonna keep in focus the level of effort he's putting in with you versus the lack of effort or even the straight up errors that he's making with you. Finally, once you start keeping score with him a few times, you're gonna realize that he's not perfect and this is gonna keep you grounded and straight minded with who he actually is. Now your point system is really only going to be relevant and specific to you. And this isn't something that anybody knows about. This is for you. So for example, he gets a point for initiating text. He gets a point for setting up dates, but he gets minus one point for things like him disappearing on you over text or him flaking on you on a date. He gets one point, you take one step closer to him. He gets minus one point, you take one step away from him. If there are many more negative points than positive ones, drop him. Simple enough? In order to get him to chase you, you simply have to sacrifice one small thing instant gratification. By not jumping on your impulse or desire to have him right now will be the green light his psychology needs to set off on the journey to pursue you. Now, to learn how to fully attract men into your life, join me at the Boyfriend Blueprint. That's at boyfriendblueprint.com join. In just one week, we're gonna have a limited enrollment open up until August 23rd. So when it opens, you're gonna have just one week to sign up. I hope you will. Guys, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. Thanks for tuning in today, and I'll see you guys for launch day next week.